First at five, President Biden signed an executive order aimed at protecting women's access to reproductive health, that including abortion and contraception. Some local politicians are also looking for ways to do the same. Our Brandon Simmons joins us now to break all of this down. First off, Brandon, what is in the president's order? Well, yeah, from day one, the president has said he disagrees with the Supreme Court's decision to reverse Roe v. Wade. And President Biden has said he'll do whatever he can to protect women's rights. Now, this order aims to do just that as well. Now, first, the administration plans to take steps to protect women's privacy and give them access to accurate reproductive health information. It also directs the Department of Health and Human Services to boost access to abortion pills and other types of contraception. Now, the order also aims to ensure the safety and security of those seeking and providing abortion care, including mobile clinics that, that have been set up to help out uh, out-of-state patients who need care. Now, the, Ameri the American Medical Association representing doctors across the country supports the president's order, saying that they're good first steps, but they also say they understand more work needs to be done in this as well. All right, Brandon, and that's all on the federal level. Of course, when Roe v. Wade was overturned and kicked it back to the states to make these decisions, that's when Ohio's right. heartbeat bill was made into law. That was upheld, so that is still on the books here. But we have some state officials that are trying to combat that heartbeat bill, which stops abortions after six weeks in Ohio, which in the entire landscape of the nation is relatively strict. Is mm -hmm. there anything new that's going on there? Yeah, you have state officials and locally they're working on it as well. Remember, we've seen some county prosecutors, including Cuyahoga County's Mike O'Malley, say they won't prosecute abortion cases. And in Lakewood, city council is taking it a step further. On Tuesday, three council members introduced legislation that would prevent police from investigating cases dealing with abortion. Now, Jason Shackner, who, author, who authored that legislation, says because of Ohio's home rule laws, cities can decide where to use resources and where they will be allocated. Therefore, they don't want police in their city spending time on these sorts of cases, saying there are more pressing things for them to be worried about. Our tax dollars are not going to go to inv investigations regarding abortion care. They're just not, and this ordinance is going to make sure that our tax dollars are, and resources are not going to be used for that purpose. Now, he believes this legislation will pass in September and only needs one more council member's support to have enough votes for it to pass, and he's hopeful that other cities will also follow suit. Now, this is just yet another creative way that we're seeing politicians at all levels of government battle that Supreme Court decision that they say a majority of Americans disagree with. Yeah, it seems like decisions like that are happening more and more. All right, Brandon, thank you so much.